Hey everybody, in this episode, we are going to make a portfolio using Google Sites and Google Slides. So, um, this slide deck has a whole bunch of information on it for you with some examples of some Google Sites that I've made and my students have made. Um, but now we've got into creating a website using Google Sites. This is a great way for students to make portfolios. Um, I have my students make a, uh, a website with a home page, a engineering or computer science page, um, about them page, and then um, just like some interest. So if they're in sports, clubs, musicals, art, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so this video is specifically for making a portfolio. So portfolios are great ways to show off your work from kind of the beginning of the school year to the end of the school year. It's also a great way to uh, show your parents what you've done for the school year, um, employers, colleges, coaches, um, future employers, future coaches, things like that. So here's what we're gonna do. There's two different ways to do this. First thing is on this site or on, on these directions, I have a rubric page for you where you can click on the rubric and jump to exactly what is needed. Um, so as you can see, we've got some assignments that we've done that we need to update it and we will email our parents or at least one parent here in just uh, in a future video. So let's make sure we have homepage and this stuff and then I'll show you how to add th this stuff down here. So we open up our Google site and we want to put it onto our computer science page if we're working on computer science. If you're working on another class, you might want to put it on another page. So one of the best ways I find is just make a slide deck, right? Just have a slide deck ready. Um, if you've taken a previous class of mine or one of our other magnet classes, maybe you just have a slide deck with a whole bunch of work on it uh, like this from a past year. And then we're going to just say, hey, let's, let's make a new slide. And I'm gonna hit the plus sign and this is gonna be all about computer science. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have on there is 1.1 Digital Doodle. I try my best to name the same things here as we name them on our Google Classroom. So you go to this assignment, 1.1.1 Digital Doodle, you find the screen grabs that you turned in throughout the school year. And then you simply just download them again. And I'm gonna need the other one to download. All right, now I go into my, uh, my slide here. And I'm gonna say 1.1.1 Digital Doodle. Okay, I'm gonna have one slide is going to be my, my uh, blocks page and the other one's gonna be my design page. So I can do this uh, one of two ways. First of all, I can look in my drive. I can probably find it in my drive, especially if I just loaded it and, and I go to recent. I think it's over here somewhere. There we go, recent. Um, sometimes that doesn't work. So I'm gonna go to insert image, upload since I just downloaded those. I know they're gonna be in my downloads folder. Okay, there we go. So there's Digital Doodle. A couple things for uh, my class is I wanna make sure that my name is always up here. And yes, thank you, Megan, for letting me borrow your screen grab of this. And of course, your work. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to insert image, upload the next one. So I've got my block view and then I've got my design view right here. Okay, again, thank you, Megan. All right, so that's how you can do it. You can just bring it in Put it there, or um, and as or I'm sorry, and as you do that, you want to make sure you hit the share button, 
you want to make sure right now it is the only people who can access this are South Bend school people. Well, we don't want that. We want to make sure anyone with this link can view. And then I hit done. And now when I go to my website and I want to go to insert and I want to insert my slide. Here it is right here. There's my, my portfolio. I hit insert there. Now anyone will be able to view it. Okay. The other nice thing about this is if I hit this gear up here, I can hit auto start, auto loop. I can have people look at it for two seconds, or I can of course change it to something else. I can hit done. So it says introduction to engineering. Well, I want this slide deck just to be about engineering and computer science portfolio. Okay, so the nice thing about this is when you go here, it automatically changes on here. So if I just simply hit refresh, we'll see that it should have changed. There it is right there, proof that it works. All right. Last thing you want to do is, of course, you can move it around and edit it and make it look as pretty as you want it to do. Uh, you hit publish and you want to publish your new site so that you can see that it's all up to date and current. So that is one way to do that. And I took almost seven minutes. That's a long time. I'm sorry about that. The other way you can do it on your website is by simply importing the image, clicking the image, bring in one picture at a time, labeling them on here. Uh, and then when you're done doing that, um, the nice thing I like about the slide deck is it doesn't make your website super long. Everything is just right on that slide deck. Um, it's all fairly uniform. Like I can put my slide deck here and I can put some videos and eventually we'll embed some other uh, work that you've done throughout the school year. Um, so that's, that's how I like it. That doesn't mean that's the way you have to do it. So, um, please make sure you add a portfolio and you start adding to your website. And again, here's the list of things that you'll need that are found on our rubric right here. Thanks for watching and feel free to, uh, ask me any questions.